this is a good example of a question that's almost purely conceptual. So there's not really a lot of calculation that's going to be involved. We just have to break down what the question's actually asking and figure out how to interpret what the question's asking as something involving numbers. So let's take a look at the question itself and that will get us started. For any positive integer n, the length of n is defined as the number of prime factors whose product is n. Okay, so we have something that's defined here. So we need to unpack what that means. The defined as, that tells us that this is specific to this question. This is not just some mathematical term that they're expecting you to know. So if you're worried about that, don't, because anytime you see defined as, that means that this is specific to this question. So for example, the length of 75 is three, since 75 is three times five times five. So what we're looking for is just all of the prime factors. That's one, two, three prime factors. Therefore, we have length three. So what they would be talking about is, let's say we take four, the factorization there is two times two. So that is length two, right? The factorization of five is just five. So that's length one. The factorization of six is, of course, two times three. So that's length two. And then if we were to take, for example, 18, that would be length two times three times three is our factorization. So that's, so now let's address the question. How many two digit positive integers have length six? Now, if you think about this, when you start stacking up these prime factors, the size of the number is actually going to increase very rapidly as the length increases. So we're not actually going to have a huge number of two digit positive integers with length six, as we see here. And of course we don't because our answers are limited to four maximum. So let's just take a look at, well, okay, well, what would make something long? It's prime factors, of course, so one doesn't count. We can ignore that. But if we look at two, okay, so two has length one, four has length two, of course, eight has length three, 16 has length four, 32 has length five, and 64 has length six, okay? So that's gotta be one of our answers, 64 has length six, because that's gonna be two times two times two, two times two times two times two times two times two. So that's length six. Now, there probably aren't going to be terribly many other numbers that have length six, because the only thing that we could do is increase one of these numbers to be a different prime factor. For example, if we went three times two times two times two times two times two times two, like that. And that would give us 96, of course, which has length, which has length six. And the next smallest number with length six, of course, is going to be three times three times two times two times two times two, nine times 16, which is going to be one, four, four. And obviously that, and obviously that number is not a two digit positive integer. This is a two digit positive integer, and this is a two digit positive integer. Therefore we have two. So let's back up for a second and think about how we broke this down. So the first step is just to define length. And then we would look at sample numbers and then get an idea what the smallest length six and then adjust as necessary. And that will find us the answer in this case. The trick to a question like this is just to be able to break it down more intelligently and not to get freaked out by the fact that it's asking us for something that's very abstract. Of course, there's barely any calculation in this aside from expecting you to know how to do a prime factorization, which obviously the GMAT is going to expect you to know how to do. If you don't know how to do a prime factorization, then that's something that you're going to have to revise. But if you do know how to do a prime factorization, then the answer to this question is not out of your reach. You just have to learn how to define the problem to find samples that match the problem, address the smallest number, so the two digit positive integers would have length six in this case, make the adjustments that would be necessary to, to define how many of those numbers would actually have the length of six. If you like this video, if you found it useful, the best way to support the channel would be to click like or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested, we have a free 52 page rates guide available. If you click on the link in the text box below. And also if you're interested in other videos from the channel, you can click in the link in the top right hand corner and that will take you to some more of our videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.